Okay, next question. Why do I have such a hard time making new friends and keeping the ones I have? It seems it's just inevitable before I say or do or say something that upsets them without meaning to do so. I find that there are rarely that there rarely is a way to come back from the upset. I feel lonely and rejected. What should I do? INFP. Okay. Thank you for this question. Um so I um it makes me feel really sad to hear that you're feeling lonely and that you're feeling rejected and because I know those feelings very well and I do want to say that there is a way out of those feelings and if you're getting consistent feedback from the world that uh people get upset with you uh or you're having a hard time making friends then it's probably there's probably a coping mechanism that is running your um your your way of relating with other people and that was certainly the case for me so for a really long time i didn't trust anybody and it showed i didn't have trusting relationships because i didn't trust anybody so i showed up with a distrust and um and the expectation of distrust and therefore i created those kinds of relationships it's very it feels really lonely and it feels really it feels like the it's it's like you know what your intent is but your intent doesn't come across when you're talking to people so my intent for the relationships was to have you know trusting close relationships that was my intent but my behavior didn't actually actually reflect my intent and i wasn't aware of it um it was something in the subconscious well it was actually something in the unconscious originally and then it moved into the subconscious when i noticed the pattern that i don't have trusting relationships just like you've noticed here so this is probably in your subconscious now and then you can reach into the subconscious and and ask yourself hey you know uh what is the pattern what is the coping mechanism within me that stops um these things from happening so you were saying um i have a hard time making new friends and keeping the ones i have uh it seems like it's just inevitable before i do or say something that upsets them without meaning to do so so um i would suspect from that that you have a coping mechanism that is prickly towards other people so in your actions or in your in your words and that makes people react in a way that can you know like a cactus or cacti uh they have these pricks and uh you might be unconsciously or subconsciously this cactus moving around your life uh stabbing people without meaning to do so uh because you are afraid that somebody will come into your space and try to force you to be something that you are not and that's often what happens with this kind of this kind of pattern and this is what i said suspect might be going on with you as well but it might be in your subconscious so you might not be aware of it yet okay so what should you do take a piece of paper write down the people that you've had a falling out with and the topic with which on on which over which you had the falling out and try and remember um how you were behaving towards that person before you had a falling out what were the words that you were saying what was the behavior you know did you ghost them did you attack them did you you know set boundaries with them did you ask for your needs to be met like what was the thing that happened before the falling out happened and that will tell you uh, a lot of um a lot a lot about what it might be that's sitting in your subconscious uh, ready to be discovered about you lisa is saying i as an infj have had this issue in the past the difference was that they would say something that would trigger me and i would turn prickly interesting very good so i would react with attack i would lose a lot of friends this way yeah i hear you lisa i totally this was exactly my thing with the 
the um, the trust issue as well. They'd say something that would trigger my distrust of them, and then I'd do something to create that distrust between uh, between us, between the you know myself and the other person. So thank you for that reflection. That's really helpful um, for me, at least. Uh, but yeah. And Lisa is saying, thank you for answering this question by noting the patterns uh, is how I change my relationship and my relationships and my behavior. That's exactly it. That's exactly it. It's all about just recognizing what the pattern is that's driving you to react in a way that repels the other person. So I hope that that answers that question. And thank you, Lisa, for your input on that. Uh, that's That's fantastic. I think you know, I hope that really helps and let me know if it has or hasn't. It's not so much about necessarily about your personality type. I feel like it's more about when you get triggered, how you react uh, to your triggering, like what's your uh, coping mechanism to triggers and how that's going to be, uh, you know, how you come across when you are triggered. 